Hi everyone, back again. Okay, so I ordered the Slayer Exciter from uh, G. Bluer himself, and uh, this is the coil, and uh, came with the top mounts. So I've got uh, an aluminum uh, plate, it's upside down, and it fits the uh, toroid perfectly. And I brought uh, the frequency down to uh, 248 kilohertz out of the uh, AM band and uh, this is the uh, higher voltage uh, 12 volt circuit uh, it's actually running on 9 volts and um, I didn't want to turn it up too much further because the lights were starting to, uh, <laughs> to twitch anyway the uh, current at 9 volts and uh, I've got a little, got a little neon floating out here. Anyway, just a quick little update. Uh, the uh, coil came with that uh, pancake coil, but when I added the top load, it uh, lowered the frequency so far that uh, I had to switch to uh, an adjustable primary to find find the spot. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool, it uh, really only worked at one spot. Change a few turns here. Everything goes out. Current went up. Kind of works here, but the current is really high. But it seems to be best with bright light at uh, one, two, three, four, five turns. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's looking pretty cool. And of course, the uh, in the Slayer circuit, the base is um, uh, triggered by the oscillations on the on the resonator, and when you touch that. It uh, stops stops the base from uh, running, and I'm again I'm taking power from uh, using this plate next to it here. So I'll move that uh, closer in a way, closer away. So, anyway, uh, this worked out really well, and uh, these are really nice coils that he made. He must have had them under some sort of tension. They're uh, on there really nicely, and uh, just like you probably saw in some of his videos, uh, he was able to slide uh, stuff along the coil and not mess up the turns and whatnot. That's something that <laughs> my coils always do. Um, Another thing I did was, uh, um, I don't know if you can see it here, but the base wire there, I kind of unraveled it because it was going through uh, a loop and a loop and a half or something. And um, from doing really high voltage stuff, I, I've noticed that it, uh, if you've got a kink in the, uh, in the wire and small turns, it'll kind of spark over and jump out. So, um, yeah, just un unloop that one wire and put a bit more glue on it. And then same with the top. Uh, probably can't see it here, but I just uh, took that piece of, uh, just that loop off the end and unraveled it. And then just ran it straight to the top load. pretty cool. It's about uh, close, I guess, two and a half times the diameter on the resonator is what the length is. And uh, a lot of Tesla magnifying transmitter builder guys have uh, noticed that not necessarily the equal diameter and equal height is optimal. Uh, up to 
two and a half times the resonator diameter is pretty close to optimal. So, we'll be working more with this. Try out the different circuits that he posted. But, um, yeah, it's going really well. And, uh, actually, if I turn the light off, it's a pretty bright little spot it makes. I don't know if you can see this, but it kind of lights up the... Yeah, you can't really see it. You can see the focused beam, but it does spread out quite a bit, and it's, uh, it's pretty usable for if you've got it just right by the bench or something like that. So, pretty exciting. Talk to you guys later. Oh, and actually these are uh, some white LEDs that I ordered from uh, China, I think. So these look a lot nicer than and those yellow ones just had a lot of these free yellow ones, so um, I've been using those, but these tend to <laughs> have a lot more brilliance. Alright, talk to you guys soon.